let's talk about the offense, some of the big plays you guys made. Uh, I think it was just all about all, all of us buying in. You know, we took a crucial hit in the beginning with losing Bobby Lawrence, you know, off rip. So just everybody buying in. We had to come together before the game and talk about our re talk about our game plan to make sure that everybody who was on the field were, knew what to do and we stayed consistent throughout the whole game. Do you practice one handed catches like that, or is that just a uh, spur of the Oh, man, it's God. I'm telling you, it's not me. It's not me. Oh yeah, since freshman year Florida game, I'll never forget. I, I definitely best hands in the SEC for sure. What did you see from from Brady when he was called on to, to come in in the, you know in that big moment in the fourth quarter? Yeah, Brady mentioned earlier in the week that you know he practices week in and week out like he's going to be the starter, and that's his definitely that's what's been his mentality since day one. So coming into the game, we expected no, no change, nothing different. You know, he prepares like he's going to be number one, so that's how he plays. I mean, him, him, the way he runs the ball, he makes my blocking a lot easier. So he makes my job easier. But So it makes it a lot fun to block for him. Like, you know what I mean? When he's in the backfield, I'm strapping up, make sure I'm ready to go. Plus, me and him have a close relationship. We've been close since our freshman year. So, like, we kind of have that, you know, he looks at me, I look at him. All right, we're, we're going on this play. We're ready to go. Oh yeah, they just they just couldn't stop it. O line, you know, tight ends. We we that's what we did today. We worked the trenches in, day in and day out. So I mean, there's nothing they could have done. They knew he was getting it, but I'm sure you guys knew he was getting it. What does that say about the offensive line? And, you know, so many changes, so many guys coming in there able to block so well. Well, this week, I, you know, Coach Johnson really challenged those guys, you know, with having some new guys in different places. He really challenged them to step up, you know, take take advantage of the opportunity that we have going in. You know, we have opportunity to see six games and make it to a bowl game. And, you know, that's what everybody's trying to do. We're trying to send the seniors out on a good note. So just the O-line coming together and playing hard, it got the job done. Daniel, can you describe what it was like to celebrate with that Mayor's Cup trophy for the first year? Oh, it felt good. I, I grabbed it. And I took it. I wish it was some water or something in there because I, I was trying to drink something out of it, but it wasn't nothing in there, man. But it stays in Columbia, Missouri for another year, three years in a row. On your coach, then, uh, 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 said that they call that play uh, Popsicle, I think. Popsicle, yeah, a little tight end pop pass. I just think like I'm blocking. Ugh, wide open. Daniel, you talked about how Coach Johnson was getting the line ready for moving around in different positions. How do you think that sort of goes to the program's ability to sort of make you guys ready for whatever is coming your way? I mean, you know, it, it, it's, it's just coaches all around. You know, it starts from when I went from – the end, the tight end, you know what I mean? He just, his ability to coach these guys and get them to buy in week in and week out, no matter if we lose, no matter when, just he's able to make them recommit week in and week out. And that ability is, you know what I mean, is crucial. You guys, you guys have some great challenges ahead, but you also have some big opportunities as well, don't you? Yes, sir. We don't look at it as a challenge. We look at it as an opportunity, like you said, the second time. Uh, the energy level was different today I, from the first kickoff. Everyone from freshmen to seniors were jumping up and down. Our offense was room for defense, defense was room for offense. And that's something that Coach Drink, you know, he really mentioned this week is that we need to make sure that we're rooting for one another, make sure that we love the game because it seems like that we, we fell out of love for the game. And I think that every, making sure everyone's bought in with each other and each other's job brings back the love. It was crazy. I think like the last time he scored an actual touchdown in the game was like his junior year of high school. So like it was like amazing for him. I know that's something that he's been wanting to do all year. We've got Jets for him to, to score and he just couldn't quite get in. But today, you know, he punched one in thanks to O-line and Bays and it was a blessing for him.